So on this last episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville, Destiny Payton pays Martel Holt a visit. Now, on her arrival, he greets her and then he tells her that he's going to make himself a cup of coffee. In the process of doing that, she says she didn't want any coffee, that she needed a whole bottle of his Ines wine. Martel tells her, you don't want none of that. He said, you'll end up pregnant somewhere. And she looks at him and says, you're the only one out here procreating. Martel Holt, who is pregnant? Oh, I'm tired as hell. What's up? What What's you got up going? with you, Saudi? You looking cool. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm about to make me some, some coffee, coffee. Coffee? Mushroom. This is what I need right here. What's that? <laughs> A whole bottle of yeah. Inez. You don't want that. I do. I actually stopped drinking coffee. You'll be pregnant coffee. somewhere. No. <laughs> You're the only one that's procreating out here. <laughs> well, as we can see, Martel never denied that he was procreating. And the only thing he could do was have this little silly grin on his face. But in the meantime, we know there's only one person that would only subject themselves to being pregnant by this man. And that person is Ariane Curry. And the last time we've seen her, she went live a couple of months ago. She went live after news hit the blogs that Martel had been convicted of the Revenge P case. Um, she looked a little bit heavier in the face in that video, but we really haven't seen her since, except in this photo that was recently released not too long ago. But for whatever reason, Destiny Payton felt the need to uh, put out there that Martel was procreating. And for some reason, I think that little jab he came back at her with stating that um, Law looked like his uncle Martel. How did that happen? I think that was his way of getting back at her for saying that he was out here procreating. Doesn't Law look so cute on this little this little school picture? Yeah, he is cute. Handsome little boy. Look just like his uncle Martel. I don't know how that happened. Wait a minute now. We ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He look like his uncle. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> anyway. Now, Destiny was looking a little caught off guard and she was giving Martel that look like, don't play with me. Uh, but anyway. In regards to Destiny Payton saying that she needed a whole bottle of Ines wine, I had totally forgot that Martel even had that wine. One, he doesn't promote it. And two, he doesn't even talk about it on the show. Um, if he was smart, he would make a t-shirt that said Ines wine and he could put the website on the back of his shirt or, you know, somewhere where someone could see it and he could get some exposure. Uh, but instead, he just has a website out here where you can get a 12 pack of wine for $468, a six pack for $234, a three pack for $117, or you can purchase one for $39. But according to the website, if he doesn't fix his online platform, he won't be able to make any sales online. It says Vino Shipper Upgrade Alert, action needed. This website's owner, must upgrade their online platform to Vino Shipper Injector V4 to continue sales through the online store and club widget. So it looks like who's ever in charge of his website or whoever designed it or put it together, um, looks like nobody is keeping up with the maintenance of the site. But back to the question, Martel Holt, who is pregnant? <laughs> Drop down in the comments, you guys. Let me know your thoughts about what Destiny said on this last episode. And what are your thoughts about him coming back at her and stating that Law looks like his Uncle Martel? I um, always like to know what you guys are thinking. As always, I thank you all for watching and listening. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Please give this one a thumbs up and be sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from what's happening.